Greg Rex here. I'll be doing a quick video on connecting to a Dungeon Masters game session, activating modules, and doing the character creation wizard in Fantasy Grounds using the new uh, user interface. So to start, I just want to point out I am already logged in. It shows what my license type is. That happened through settings. If you're using a free demo account, um, you would still log in. You are required to have an account name with Works, and it would show that you have the free demo up here. Um, the other thing I did before was I already ran check for updates, so I don't have a red box sitting around here. So I'm on a current version that matches my Dungeon Masters host client uh, so that there's no uh, discrepancies when I hit join. As of this recording, I am version 4.1.13. It could be higher later whenever you see this video. So to join my DM session, I'm going to hit join campaign. Uh, searching GM name, it's going to be whatever your GM tells you their name is. I know what my name is. It's Greg Rex. Again, this is the DM host is uh, running already. All right, Greg Rex. Now you can see that the campaign name I called it was Greg's Character Creation. So I'm going to highlight it, and then I'm going to hit Start. What's going on is this client connection is, is downloading data via a cloud bridge uh, over the internet. With a good wired connection, this should happen in 20 seconds or less. Um, you know, Wi-Fi or a, a tethered cell phone, things will take a little bit longer, uh, but uh, it's pretty stable now. All right, so everything is already downloaded. I have a campaign folder now on this PC that has downloaded data from my DMs machine, so this is great. These two windows I'm just gonna close uh, for the sake of this video, I want to start by showing module activation by going to the sidebar using this method here, going to modules and activation. And what I want to do is just load a couple of books I'm going to be using for my character creation. Um, so I'll be using the player's handbook for sure. And maybe I want to do like a Gith Yankee cleric from the Arcana domain. So that would be uh, Mordekainen's right here for the Gith. And then Sword Coast Adventurer's Guide for Arcana Domain for the Cleric. And once they're loaded, you can see they're here in Modules. And nothing else to do with Modules, we just need to confirm that they're there. Now here on the sidebar, we're going to go to the Characters now. This window is empty. You're going to go to Character Wizard right here. And we're going to start by creating Greg's character, giving a name. And uh, what we're going to do is do stats, race, class, background in that order. And as things are set, you'll start getting green check marks. You have the default standard array. You have three other methods. You have the dice roll, manual entry, and point by. And even with dice roll, everything you see just gets rolled out for you. Uh, but we are going to do a point by. I will show that. Uh, you have the point by total. You get your 27 points. And now you can start buying. Right, I said like I was going to do a cleric to add be high-ish. So you do your min-max that way, or however you want to create your character, or you could use the standard array, which is what I'll finalize this character with. And this is just sliding these values left and right. Right. So think of this as a sliding scale. I want 15 to go all the way to my wisdom. Uh, I want my constitution to be maybe my second highest. I'll take this, that, and dump stat care, charisma, all good. All right. So this is set. This is how I want it. And, and next, I'm going to go to race. I got the green check mark. So it's going to be Gith, Gith Yankee. And you have two racial modifier options. You have the default option or option one where you increase uh, ability scores, three different ability scores by one. You see that by hovering over it, you get the tool tip. I'll just take the default. Now that everything's set there, you can see that the intelligence and strength got increased by one and two respectively. I'm going to go to class. Got the green check mark, so class. Uh, I'm going to be a cleric, I said, and then arcana domain. Selected that. We got two skill proficiency choices, so I will take um, you know, medicine and persuasion. And that is set. Got the green check. Next, I'm going to go to background. And I suppose I'll be an Acolyte with an Arcana um, domain. So I'll take Acolyte. And I get two languages. So I'll take uh, Draconic and Undercommon. 
And you'll see that you also got on the right is the proficiencies and uh, the skills I picked up uh, religion. And I think it was insight probably was the other one I got with my background off the top of my head. I think that's over persuasion. We selected persuasion medicine previously for the class. So you can see you kind of do the validation right here as it's coming along. Next up is inventory. And I will just do the uh, class choice uh, priest pack, chain mail. I'll take a light hammer. I included a shield that already comes with it. I get my holy symbol. And then my background choice, I'll take an emblem. And then you'll see that's all good there. Next up is I'm going to go to spells. I get uh, three cantrips. So I'm going to start with my three there. I'll take a uh, light. I will take guidance for sure. And maybe sacred flame. And then uh, my level one. All right. So I'll take a uh, bless. I will take cure wounds. And I will do protection from evil and good. Got my three of three there. So you can see this is all set. Beats, should you qualify for one, like a variant human, uh, would pop up here. The validation doesn't happen until you click on it. I don't get one, uh, so it gave me the green check mark automatically. Uh, once you're set, you hit commit. You see all the automation just happened here in the, the fantasy grounds on the left side. You do a quick validation that everything looks good. Uh, your skills, you have your proficiencies are set with the stars. All the abilities are now in here. You can click them and read about them. Uh, inventories here. Actions tab. I have my light hammer, whether I throw it or, or use it in my hand. Uh, melee. My spells are here. I might change this to like uh, combat and actions just because that's the way I play, but everybody has their own preference on how they do this. That way they get a single click what they're going to do for their spells. And last thing we want to do is get a uh, portrait and a token. So uh, I'm going to probably have more than you have, um, but we could try to do something generic, maybe Fantasy Grounds portraits, single click. And do I have a good looking gift? Not really, but uh, for the brevity of this video, uh, this is my gift. Where are you at? That's it. That is the quick down and dirty for module activation and character creation once you have connected to your DM session. Thank you.